This question comes from one of our YouTube viewers and they said, I see how you dip only one side of the gun at a time. Why the extra work dipping and taping twice? So basically they're asking, why do I do the double dip method instead of rolling and doing it the way that other people do? Y'all got questions? I got answers. Let's do it. So I'm going to read the full comment to you so you understand exactly what he's asking. He said, I have a question. I understand how and why you only dip one side of the gun at a time. Makes sense until I watch others and see them dip the entire thing and both sides get done and they come out excellent. So why the extra work dipping and taping twice? Well, I'm going to give you the answer to that question. But before I do, another viewer actually went in and commented and explained exactly what I'm about to tell you. This is coming from someone that I have no clue who this is. They actually commented and this is what they said. I've been dipping in gunsmithing shop for four years now and I roll dip most things, barrel, rifled action, scopes, etc. Stocks with integral trigger guards and thumb hole stocks always sucked and lots of do-overs and lots of touch-ups. After watching who knows how many of your double dip videos, and tip videos, I finally had the balls to double dip a stock and it turned out perfectly. I am still on baby deer legs when I tape it off, but with time, things are getting better, I'm sure. Thanks again. So there you go. He answered it for me. Because it works perfectly every single time, I have a lot less issues. But I'll go in depth and explain to you specifically why I like to do the double dip method instead of rolling. First off, let me say there is nothing wrong with either one. You can do whatever it is that you feel comfortable with. If you want to roll and get it all in one dip, go right ahead. It's not going to hurt my feelings and that is perfectly Fine. there is no right or wrong way to do this. Roll until your little fingers turn blue. Not going to bother me at all. I don't particularly like rolling because one, I'm not very good at it. My hands are a little bit shaky from years and years of caffeine and nicotine addiction, and I am just not good at it. I have no problem admitting that I am not good at rolling. Having to go in at a very shallow angle and make sure that you only get it halfway and not actually dip one side or the other too far in, and then trying to get that roll all the way over without you know messing something up or going too far in this side, too far in this side, or, or making sure that you actually do a full rollover is it's a lot of work and skill, and it's just not a skill that I possess. I have tried and tried and tried, and I've just never been good at rolling stuff. So for me, double dipping is just a lot easier and a lot less stressful. But there's one other reason that I stick with the double dip method instead of the roll, and that is because most of my business deals in these things, stuff that goes pew. And the problem with doing stuff like this on a regular basis is there are a lot of areas that trap air and want to blow the film out. Case in point, this stock right here. It is nothing but grippy texture material that is made into this and it's also up here. All of those areas of checkering, stippling, grippiness, whatever it is, that is super popular these days and everybody is going to that. Well, when you go to dip, if you don't go in at a very, very steep angle, you're going to trap air in every single one of those little small voids and those peaks and valleys and you're going to blow out the pattern there, which is fine. You're going to have that if you roll because you're going at such a very shallow angle. It's probably going to trap some air and you're going to have some blowouts in there, which is going to require you to either one, have a not so great looking dip in those areas Areas, or two, you're going to spend a lot of time doing touch-ups. Well, in my business, time is money. The more time it takes me to do stuff, the less money that I can make. So instead of spending hours and hours and hours touching stuff up after rolling, which I'm already not good at in the first place, I do the double dip method and I tape one side off and I dip at a very, very steep angle so that I can get the dip into all of those stippled and checkered areas and have very few touch-ups. A lot less touch-ups than I would is if I had to roll something. Same thing with parts like this. There's a lot of areas that have voids and dips and little dives in places and they are going to trap air and make blowouts. If you try to roll this stuff, you are guaranteed to have to do a lot of touch-ups. When I do it taping off one side and then dipping at a very, very steep angle, I have a lot less touch-ups and I can get them done a lot faster. Yes, I do have to use a little bit more film and I do have to use some tape, but it doesn't take me any more time. Because if I had to roll stuff, not being good at it, number one, and two, having to fix all of the little checkered areas and stippled areas, it would take just as much time for me to touch it up as it does for me just to dip it twice and it come out looking good every single time. Now with double dipping, you have the option to do either a straight line tape down the bottom and top of your parts, or you can use the ghosting kind of seam method that I use, and I have a video right up here that shows you how to do it. 
I allow my customers to choose which one they want, whether they want a straight line down the middle that separates the two patterns or whether they want the patterns to overlap and have that, what I call the ghost seam. And by far, my customers like the ghost seam better and it is what they seem to choose more often than not. You can do it either way. There's no right or wrong. You can do the straight line or you can do the ghost seam or if you want to roll it and just have one seam down the bottom or one seam up the top, it is totally up to you. There's nothing wrong with it. Do it however it makes your little heart go pitter patter. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's roll the bloopers. Viewers and they ask, and I what? YouTube viewers and they ask, can you explain why I hydro dip? Why I hydro dip? Because I need money, that's why. <laughs> I like my new unicorn patch. It's so cute. Why I hydro dip? Why I hydro dip? Why is this becoming such an issue? This YouTube, this YouTube, this quest. Ah. Oh, that's twice. That's twice. Stocks with integral, trigger, integral, in, integral, integ. Mm. Do whatever it is that makes you happy and makes your little heart go pitter patter because Lord knows I'm going to get a thousand comments down in the comment section going, well, I did it this way because so and so showed me on the internet problem with the internet is y'all believe way too much of what y'all see.